Hey guys, and welcome to my channel. I'm Kristen, if you're new, and today I'm gonna be doing some spring DIYs. This is my first spring video of the year, and I'm really excited about this one. It's also a collab with Lisa Marie from Living My Best Life with Lisa Marie. Very excited to be collabing with her. We are both doing spring DIYs. They could either be items from Dollar Tree, thrifted items. The possibilities are endless with spring decor for our channels. So when you're finished watching this video, make sure you head on over to her channel and watch her video of spring DIYs. I am super excited to see what she made as well. And if you're coming from Lisa Marie's channel, hi, I'm Kristen, and I am so glad you guys decided to stop by. I hope you enjoy this spring decor DIY video. So let's jump into it. First DIY is going to be a thrift makeover. This is actually from Goodwill. It was 309 and my husband actually picked this up for me and he does not like Goodwill. He does not like thrift stores. So I was really excited that he actually went there and bought something that I would reuse. So I'm super excited about this one. I'm just using the Moss and the Waverly chalk paint and I love this color for spring. You will probably see me use this a lot for spring. This and the celery color are two of my favorites to use. And then I'm just going to be going in with the Waverly chalk paint in white and painting the edges. I ended up going over some of the green because I was copying the person who painted this previously and I didn't like the way they ended up painting it. I was like, I don't think this looks right. So I ended up going back um, on some of the green parts and painting it white. But this was a really simple flip. I didn't like the colors. I made over the colors, just repainted, nothing big, didn't sand anything. And then I just used my silhouette and cut out this fresh cut flowers and herbs. I absolutely love having a, a, a Cricut machine or a silhouette machine. If you don't have one, I definitely recommend saving your pennies for one if you can because it just makes everything look so much better. These tins I've had for years. I bought them at a primitive shop and I was going to put them in a yard sale and I'm like, I might as well keep these. I'll eventually use them. These spring flowers are from Dollar Tree last year and I just decided to reuse them, stick them in these tins and that is it for this little wheelbarrow makeover. Next one, I will just be repainting this cute little stool. I'll be using the Dixie Belle paint in Annabellum Blue. I did prime the table before I painted it, but I love this paint. It is a mineral chalk paint and it goes on so nice. I only had to do one coat. This is had Dixie Belle has to be like my favorite, favorite chalk paint in the world. It's just really, really expensive. So I don't use it often, but I thought, why not for this one? I actually end up giving this table to my grandma as a birthday gift. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, uh, you wouldn't have known that, but I did post a picture of um, this table on there. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, make sure you do. Um, I will leave that link in the description box. But I'm just painting this. That is really all I did here. And then I ended up going back in with my silhouette and cutting out some birds on like a branch. Uh, my grandma... I think she likes words. This just seemed to be more of her style. She's she doesn't really have like a decor style or anything, but I thought I thought this would be super super pretty. And I did end up spraying this down so it could go outside if she chose to put a plant on it. She has a little deck, so she could definitely just take this outside it's just so it doesn't take up a ton of space. I know some people don't like getting gifts like decor pieces just because it's not what they picked out or wanted, but Definitely made it functional so she could put it on her porch or she could put it on her deck or wherever she chose to. And that is all I did for this one. For this one, these mirror candle holders were actually free, so I didn't have to pay anything for these. And I did not want candlesticks in this. I know some people who actually really like these, and I've seen like a lot of homes with these still hung in them. I just didn't like the mirror part. Maybe if the mirror wasn't there, it would be pretty. Um, but I ended up just taking apart the candle sticks. They were just actually screwed in. So I just took some wood filler and filled it in. This wood filler, I think was from Dollar Tree a long time ago. 
uh, and it's white and I just decided to use that because I'm going to be painting these white. Um, I don't know if we can consider this one a spring DIY, but I think a lot of my normal regular home decor like every day uh, is kind of always looks spring. I think farmhouse is just always kind of a really bright, cheery spring type summer feel anyway. So I think kind of farmhouse and spring always just go in a mix together. I'm just using the Waverly chalk paint in white and painting these. These took three coats. So I probably should have done some sanding, maybe even some priming. So I want to use so much chalk paint, but eventually we got there. I just used my silhouette once again and I cut this basil and mint leaves out. I thought these were really cute. I thought it was more of a spring type feel so that's why I did this and I actually really enjoy and love the color of this vinyl. My vinyl I love using Cricut, Arteza, whatever I have on hand. I love them all. I'm using the Arteza vinyl now along with the Arteza transfer tape. And then I am just adding both of these to the centers. and. I thought about adding something to the bottom. I made little terracotta pots and painted them. I didn't show it, but I just want to see and know your opinion. Like, would you just leave these as is, or would you add some terracotta pots? Would you add some blocks? What would you do, or what would you put on these tiny little shelves? Uh, I just decided to sand it and give it a distressed look, and that is all for these ones. DIY I could go either way. I'll just be using this sign. I picked it up at Goodwill for $3.09 and just sanded the whole entire thing down. So this is actually the top part. I sanded it down to the wood. Using Waverly chalk paint in white, I'm just going to be painting the entire thing white. And I also picked up this little galvanized piece from the Dollar Tree. And this was so perfect because it fit right in the center of this sign and then I just used my silhouette and typed farm fresh and then I just found this cute little farm fresh eggs with a chicken and I did cut the top part off because I just wanted the chicken and the eggs and I think this would be a really cute piece in a kitchen in my kitchen I think I'm actually going to give this to my mom if you guys wondered I give a lot of my stuff away or I sell it or I reuse it just because I make so much per year um, but I'm loving the way that this sign turns out. And if you don't have a cutting machine, you could definitely just use stencils. You could use free printables. There's just a lot of different ways you can do things. Um, and I'm just using some hot glue and gluing the galvanized piece right to the center. I also found some tacks from Dollar General. They were white. I could not find any galvanized uh, metal typed tacks, but I thought this would be good just the way it is because they're white and it matches the sign super good. And then I also did was hot glue them down. I had to take the little tack piece off because it just was not going down. Yes, I'm trying to use a screwdriver to hammer them because I couldn't find my hammer. And that is it for this one. This could either be spring. This could also just go farmhouse. I think, like I said, farmhouse and spring just go hand in hand. For the last spring DIY, I'm just going to be using this vase. My mom actually gave this to me, so this was also free. I love redoing free items. It just makes me super happy knowing I can make something super nice, super high end for almost nothing. That glue did come right off the top and I'm just going to be using this stone textured finish in this gray color by Rust-Oleum. Spray painted it. I did end up doing two coats of this. This took a really long time to dry. It does not dry in cold so I had to bring it in and let it sit for a solid day. But I love the way it looks. I found some olive branches. These were $3 a piece from Walmart. And I just absolutely love this. So you guys, that's it for my video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to check out Lisa Marie's video. I will link it in the description box below. But that's it, you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!